Hello and welcome to the show. This is Webmaster Paul for Freshwater Diver 1. Hello everybody and welcome to Howtown Bay with pier, car park and public slip so those with ribs can launch from this site. That also includes the very popular paddle boards, kayaks and canoes or if you have a small sailboat on a trailer. The pier belongs to the Ullswater Navigation Company who operate ferries from this site every half hour. Please ensure as best as possible that your diving does not interfere with their operations. So check the timetables on display at the pier. The area you're seeing right now is the Howtown Bay, but there is a sub-bay on the left-hand side, with Howtown Pier sitting in between both. The depth here can take you down to 32 metres if heading straight out from the pier up the lake. The bottle bank involves a 15 minute fin along the bottom to about 20 to 22 metres and then turning right 90 degrees. If you end up going into deeper water you've gone too far or magnetic variation has sent you off course. If you're sensing you're off course or gone deeper than the 22 meters, I suggest you go 110 to 120 degrees hard right and you should now be moving and ascending onto the firm silt bank to 3 meters. Making your way back to the entry point at 3 meters, enjoy hunting old bottles. You'll soon know when you come across them, there's hundreds. Another underwater feature you may come across should you dive from the pier and head straight up the lake but on a north northwesterly direction you should come across a steep rising mound. The top of the mound will give you a reading of 6 meters. This is quite a large feature and you can actually circumnavigate around it. It actually takes you into the sub bay on the left side then around eventually heading south back to the pier. Just keep that mound bank on your left hand side as you go around. You can't go wrong. We do believe this may be the resting place of the Enterprise, a paddle steamer which went down in the early, very early 1900s. A number of years ago Mr C. Grammer, director of the company, had been studying our freshwater diver website with interest and sent me an email describing the information they had received from the newspaper reports of the day stating you can draw a line from the pier to the boathouse and that somewhere along that line she went under. I've displayed the juicy bit here for you. Happy hunting. There's only one issue. As he points out, there are four boat houses that exist, so I, I have yellow attractors pointing out uh, three of them here. Good luck. We've also heard that an experimental World War II mini sub was launched from here and failed to return and to this day has not yet been located. One or both of these may be the source of our magnetic variation that we find underwater in this area. Heading directly out from the public slip 
will take you on a nice steady descent to 22 meters. Not shown on the minimap here, but to the left and right is a 45 degree bank down to where you are. The plan being to turn right after 15 minutes and make your way over to the bottle bank. Video. Could it be murky? How's it looking? I'm finding all sorts. Of, I don't know what they're worth for. He does. He's right. maybe playing here for hours. <laughs> There's loads in there. Okay. Uh, Get it in everyone. I would. 
Get a bag. Interesting broker. You got some interesting what? Broker bits. There's lots down there, but it's new, isn't it? It's it's definitely older as it goes that way. You got there, it's it's 1930s. This way it's going back to like 1910. So it's this side of the one? Yeah, it's, it's been well scavenged by the other side of the road. It's not stopped for What's that? There is it. Kelper, Kelper. Yeah, it's uh, Kelper's chemistry, Pedro. Let's yeah. pull the ginger out from there because it's quite rare. I think it's bad. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Maybe got a dodgy compass as you see. <laughs> or somebody's. <laughs> right. Go on with the cylinder. Did you get any photographs? Yeah, I've got a few. <clears throat> good. Oh good man. I don't know if you've got any of you. I've got I've got like the bottle. Yeah, gun. pictures of bottles on the bottom yeah. and that, yeah. Yeah. I got that. The, the problem I've got was it started churning up all the time, so you yeah. have to come back on yourself, picture, then go somewhere else, picture. Well, and it's like <laughs> I had a belt, someone had lined the load up, and he'd been the belt in your photo, but the time I pointed to you, it turned around, all silt and covered it all. Close to me. I think Mr. Gordon Burton's got all the good stuff out of there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but you see, once you hit it, you just follow it, then it's like. You're stuck because if you're coming back, it's like you're just following it all. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it does. That's that piece of uh, lead. All oh, right. With the. Uh... What's that? It's just like it's been stitched through or something, maybe. I would think that's been like a repair patch on a boat. Right. I came across a broken hot water bottle and I picked it up and there's a big eel coiled inside and it come out and it must have been, I would say, nearly a metre long. Nice. Yeah. Good, good <laughs> two inch girth on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me a bit of a shot, that. <laughs>